What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the iOS 14.4 which has been released. Now this is a pretty small update but it does mean a lot for the jailbreak community because you should definitely try to avoid it. Now the update has been pushed a couple of hours ago by Apple after the release candidate version was pushed a couple of days ago. So if you are planning to jailbreak and you want that sweet sweet Cydia on your device anytime soon you should definitely avoid iOS 14.4 because it does come with security changes. Now if you navigate here on the settings you can see that you do have an update for the iOS 14.4, you can see when you're checking for updates, but it's not a huge update. If you already run 14 point something, like is my case in here, you can see that it's only 302 megs, so not a huge update. And in fact if you click here on the learn more, it doesn't come with a lot of changes. It says in here smaller QR codes can now be recognized by the camera and the option to classify Bluetooth device type in settings for correct identification of headphones for audio notifications. And at the same time it says in here that this release also fixes the following issues. Typing may be delayed and word suggestions may not appear in the keyboard, that's actually a pretty bad bug, and the keyboard may not come up in the correct language in messages. That's basically everything in terms of features. Now in terms of security as it pertains for the jailbreak community, if you go here on the support.apple.com you actually can see the entire security content of the iOS 14.4 and iPadOS 14.4 which are basically the same. Now you can see here there are only two different vulnerabilities, not more, not less. This is actually a very small release in terms of security content, only two vulnerabilities, but one of them is actually a kernel vulnerability, which may prove to be useful. It says in here impact, a malicious application may be able to elevate privileges. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So this seems to be one of those vulnerabilities that are actually actively exploited in the wild, you know, for various reasons reasons and for various targets but the reporter is an anonymous researcher so we know nothing about who reported this. However since this seems to be a kernel vulnerability which can elevate privileges this can definitely be used for a jailbreak. So what this means is that iOS 14.3 and lower are vulnerable to that so you should definitely not update the 14.4 if you want a jailbreak because as you can see here 14.4 patches the vulnerability. Now on the WebKit side which is basically what powers Safari it says in here that that a remote attacker may be able to cause arbitrary code execution and Apple is aware of a report that the issue may have been actively exploited. So it seems that iOS 14.4 addressed two main vulnerabilities that hackers seem to have used in the wild in order to target various people and of course in order to hack their devices. It says in here that additional details will be available soon. So this may not be the whole security content but anyways both of them seem to be usable for a jailbreak. The kernel one of course because it's a kernel vulnerability and the webcam one might actually be usable for a jailbreak me style of jailbreak which is basically a jailbreak that you navigate on a website for example you go like this and you press jailbreak and that's basically it. Uncovered is used here for demonstration purposes. So yeah both of them are actually pretty interesting in terms of jailbreaking and they may actually be pretty useful in the future but do keep in mind that iOS 14.4 patches both of them. But not to worry if you already updated because iOS 14.3 is still signed as you can see from here but you should definitely try to downgrade right now if you already upgraded to iOS 14.4 because iOS 14.3 will likely stop being signed very soon because of those major actively exploited vulnerabilities which can indeed pose a pretty serious risk for the users and Apple's PR. So yeah that's basically it thank you for watching if you want to update to 14.4 if you don't care about jailbreaking the update is available right now but if you do care about jailbreaking definitely stay away from it. Thank you for watching I am GS Snow till the next time peace out.